everyone, my name is Allie and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour, a very aesthetic bookshelf tour. So I hope you all enjoy it and let's get right on in to the clips. So this is basically an overview of what my bookshelves look like. So I have these three in the corner. So yeah, that's just basically a quick little overview of what my shelves look like. So we might as well start over here on this wall. And I think you guys have seen this wall quite a bit in on Instagram or in my videos. And I do talk a lot about what is on my wall. So um, this little canvas thing I got at Marshall's and I got it quite a few years ago to decorate my old room and so that's probably like seven years ago. Then the next thing is a Disneyland map. This is pre-Galaxy's Edge so as you can see no Galaxy's Edge to be seen. And then here's a picture of Thomas Cresswell and Audrey Rose and I got that as I think a pre-order incentive. And then this little card that says you are beautiful pass it on. I got that in an Ipsy bag I think a couple years ago. The Reputation Stadium Tour patch from Taylor Swift I got for I think $5 on something like Depop or something, I can't remember, but it was only 5 bucks, and it used to be on my jean jacket, but then it fell off because I washed my denim jacket and yeah. And then here's this front of Vista Bugle and I got this at Disney's California Adventure. And then these are the three mini ears that I own. I don't own very many of them, mainly because they are really expensive, but the two on the bottom are back when they, I think were maybe like $17 or $18 a piece, and they've gone up in price. And that one on the top is like $25, I think. So they're pretty expensive, unfortunately. But yeah, these are the ones I have. I try to like, if I ever buy them, I just get like the most basic ones that I could find just because they'll go with everything. And then right here, I have my Marauders map. I got that from Walmart. That was about $3, I wanna say. And then these fake flowers right here are all from the Dollar Tree. So everything, it was a dollar. Like every single bundle was a dollar. And then the vase was also a dollar. So that was about $4 in, in total. And then my letter board is from Five Below. So it was about five bucks. And then here is my first stack of books. I have all of my copies of Bring Me Their Hearts, which is one of my favorite fantasy books. I have The Ark, I have the paperback, and I have the hardcover. And then I have Crier's War by Nina Varela, and I have my special edition of Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. And then this candle on top of the stack was from my friend, and she got it for me for Christmas, and it smells really good. And then going on to the top of my shelf right here, I have these vines and they're from Amazon. I think they were about $12 and I've used them both right here. And there's also some on my wall by my bed. So as you can see, I do have some hanging up on my wall over by my bed. And I also have more left over. So it's a pretty good bang for your buck. In the basket that they're in, I just found around my house. And then I have a little Pascal in there. He's from Disneyland. I don't remember how much he was. He might've been about 10 maybe 12 dollars and then i have a little hans Tsum Tsum right there he is so cute i also have a hans doll up here up on my owl crate box but i just love prince hans from uh frozen he's literally one of my favorite characters of all time i'm so in love with him and so i have both of those up there and then i have my graduation cap from disney and no, I did not graduate from Disney, but I did have my grad night at Disneyland, so I bought one of these, and it's so cute. Also, I have my Ariel animator collection doll, and she is so cute. I got her for my 17th birthday. I have these two little uh, figurines. One's Aladdin, one's Jasmine. 
And then I have this little uh, mini pinata that's of a unicorn and it's so cute. I got it from the 99 cent store. Okay, so we might as well start off with this shelf first. And this is my Shakespeare shelf. Literally every book on this shelf has something to do with Shakespeare. Um, so I'll start off with the decorations. I have two Funko Pops. I have Rapunzel and then I also have Jesse. And I also have this little tiny Tsum Tsum of uh, bullseye and he is so cute look at him adorable and then i also have this mug right here that says happiness is a cup of coffee and a good book and that is from rue 21 and it holds all of my bookmarks and then i also have this fake succulent right here i think that was from the dollar section at target so as you can see i have quite a few books on here the first one over there is always never yours by uh, emily wibberly and austin signan broca and then i also have if i'm being honest those are both two different Shakespeare retellings and they're modern and I haven't really read either of them. I did start Always Never Yours and it's super cute, but I feel like it's more suited for like spring or summertime. So I'll have to pick it back up then. And then I have Speak Easy, Speak Love, Still Starcrossed. Uh, if, oh, the only thing worse than me is you, Nothing Happened, An Assassin's Guide to Love and Treason. And then I start off with the plays. So here is my tall version of Hamlet by William Shakespeare. And then I have Othello, The Taming of the Shrew, Richard III, Much Ado About Nothing, The Tempest, Twelfth Night, Hamlet, Julius Caesar, Romeo and Juliet, and Love's Labor's Lost. So those are all of the ones I have in the Folgers edition. It's my favorite edition. If you're ever looking to start off with Shakespeare and you're not sure which edition that you want to get, I 100% recommend the Folgers edition. It's the best one out there. And then I go on to the This Mortal Coil, and then I have my William Shakespeare Complete Plays collection. So there is my first shelf. It's all Shakespeare and a little bit of Disney, so it's so cute. Oh, also, these lights that I have around my bookshelves, the little mini ones like this one is from Amazon, and it came in a pack of like, maybe, I don't know how many, like 10 maybe? And I don't remember how much I got those for, but the star ones I got for $5, they were half off at Michael's. So they're usually sold during Christmas. So I don't know if they'll have any more left, but knowing Michael's, there's usually quite a bit of uh, Christmas stuff left over. So I would check it out and usually it'll be on discount. And if it's not on discount, then there's always a bunch of coupons. So check out Michael's if you're ever looking for good lighting, that's probably where you should go. I also used to work at Michael's. And then this second shelf, I have starting off over here, um, I have a little another fake succulent. I got that one from the 99 cent store. And then we have a little Ray Funko Pop. And then I have this, which has been like in my videos forever. Um, it says fear is only your enemy if you allow it to be. That's from an ember in the ashes. Did not like that book, but I think that this is so cute and it's always on my shelves. And then over here we have Finn from Star Wars as well. This is kind of like my Star Wars shelf, I guess. I do have a lot of Star Wars Funko Pops though, so be warned. And so starting off in this corner, I have some of my Star Wars books that I've started to collect. I don't have Ahsoka because it's actually in my brother's room, but when I get that back, that will go in here as well. And so it starts off with Resistance Reborn. Then we go to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, A Crash of Fate, and then Lost Stars, and then Canto Bite. So those are all of the Star Wars books that I have. And then I have Defy the Stars and A Thousand Pieces of You, both by Claudia Gray. And then we move on to just regular fantasy. So right here we have Beyond the Black Door, we have A River of Royal Blood, The Queen's Rising, The Young Elite, The Rose Society, and The Midnight Star, all by Marie Lu. Then we have Damsel, Grave Mercy, Dark Triumph, Mortal Heart, all by Robin Lefevers. And then we have Blood Air and The Merciful Crow, which are two of like my newest books. I just put them on there. I don't think that these are their forever homes, but they're good for now. They fit, so it works. And then moving on to my third shelf, this has some of my Harry Potter stuff right here. Um, don't be confused. I'm not a big fan of Harry Potter, but I do have quite a bit of Harry Potter merchandise. It's just, I think it's really cute and very aesthetic, so I just keep it up there. And I have my Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. I have my Ravenclaw 
uh, notebook because I am a Ravenclaw. I love the movies, I just don't like the books. I, I have to clarify that every time. And then I have this uh, Death Eater wand that I got from Walmart. And then over here I have my uh, tarot cards from my uh, pre-order for Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. That's what it came with. So I always have it on The Lovers, which is, I'm guessing, Audrey Rose and Thomas Cresswell. I don't really know, but I think it's super cute. <laughs> and then over here in this corner, I have two of my favorite Funko Pops. I have Jin Erso and Cassian Endor, both from uh, Rogue One, which is one of my favorite Star Wars movies. So behind my uh, notebook, I have And I Darken, Now I Rise, and Bright We Burn, all by Kirsten White. And then I have an Enchantment of Ravens, and that little gap right there is actually supposed to be my other book, A Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. And then we start off with Stalking Jack the Ripper, Hunting Prince Dracula, Escaping from Houdini, and Capturing the Devil, all by Carrie Maniscalco, one of my favorite series of all time. And then we have Daughters of Marie, which is one of the newest books that I've gotten as well. And then we have Six of Crows, Cricket Kingdom, King of Scars, Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising, all by Lee Bardugo. I am probably going to reread this series this year. I'm really hoping, especially because the uh, show is going to come out, so I'm hoping to reread it. So if we are mutuals on Twitter, please let me know if you want to reread it with me, because I will definitely need a buddy to kind of like, you know, get me motivated. And then down here is just a lot of my contemporary books. I'm not a huge contemporary fan, but I have a lot of contemporary books for some reason. So um, I don't really have any decorations except for this Sprite bottle from Galaxy's Edge, mainly because it's in the shape of, I guess, a droid, maybe? I don't really know. I, Me and my brother were trying to figure out what it was. We think it's a droid. It looks like a bomb, but it's Sprite. And it was six dollars and i don't regret it but i would never buy another one ever again because they're way too expensive for a soda so starting off we have star crossed which is actually i think the only adult contemporary on this shelf and then we have i'll give you the sun where i end and you begin i couldn't read that for some reason Imagine is Happy, What If It's Us, The Upside of Unrequited, Leah on the Offbeat, both by Becky Abertali. Then we have Done Dirt Cheap. We have Girl Made of Stars, Serious Moonlight, When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandia Menon, Tosh Hearts Tolstoy by Katherine Ormsby, Let's Talk About Love by Claire Kahn, The Academy, P.S. I Still Love You and Always and Forever Lara Jean, both by Jenny Hahn. And then we have my Nina Lacour section that's very small <laughs> and it's everything leads to you, we are okay and hold still. And then we also end with Kill the Boy Band. So that's my contemporary shelf. I also have another contemporary shelf which we can actually move on to. This one has absolutely no decoration and so we start off with Annalie in real life, This Time Will Be Different, Undead Girl Gang, Radio Silence, Pride, You'd Be Mine, Like a Love Story, Grace and the Fever, Autobiography, In Some Other Life, You'll Miss Me When I'm Gone, To Be Honest, Don't Date Rosa Santos, Small Town Hearts, Tell Me How You Really Feel, Still Life with Tornado, a semi-definitive list of worst nightmares and American Panda. Okay, so we'll move on over to this shelf. And I always get a lot of compliments on this bookshelf. And it's actually not really a bookshelf. It's just like a little storage unit. And basically, I think my parents got it from Target or Kmart. But I think if you just search up like cube shelving or wire shelving, you might be able to find them. I'll try to link something down below because I know a lot of people really like the look of this and I think it's super cute too. This was actually my first shelf in some of my first uh, booktube videos so you can probably go back and find those and see what my shelves looked like back then but yeah I think it's actually really cute. I think it definitely works with the aesthetic. So we'll start off with this cube first and this has another Star Wars Funko Pop that is Han Solo and that's actually from the movie Solo so it's a young Han. So we start off with The Last Magician, Stain, We Hunt the Flame, Bloodline, Girls Made of Paper and Fire, Ninth House, Serpent and Dove, Ash Princess, and Nocturna. There's definitely a lot of books on here that I really want to read in 2020, and then only two books that I've actually finished, and that is Ninth House and Serpent and Dove. I've started a couple of them, like We Hunt the Flame and Girls of Paper and Fire, 
but I've never finished them and I really want to finish them this year. And then over here I have another Funko Pop and it's of one of my favorite Star Wars characters of all time and that is Rose Tico. And I got her for Christmas one year. I got very emotional, definitely cried, and I just love her so much. She's one of my all-time favorite characters and she deserved better. So <laughs> Um, she gets to sit on top of some of my uh, childhood favorite fantasy books. So we start off with Reign of Shadows and then we go on to The Iron King, The Iron Daughter, The Iron Queen, and The Iron Knight all by Julie Kagawa. I read those books in high school and I loved them so much. I definitely want to continue on with my reread and I don't know they're just such a fun little fantasy series. And then we go on to The Darkest Part of the Forest, The Modern Fairy Tales, The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, and The Queen of Nothing, all by Holly Black. I have a fairly large Holly Black collection now, and I definitely want to read all of her books in 2020, so hopefully we'll get to these two, which are the ones I haven't finished or read at all. And then over here we have Caraval and Legendary. I really want to get Finale this year. I've already read it. I love the whole series. It's definitely like four stars and then three stars to Legendary and then four stars to Finale. It's such a good series and definitely really good audiobooks. So if you're ever looking for audiobooks that are super fun and fast to finish, these are your best bet. And then we come down here and we go with The Accident Season, The Savage Song, Our Dark Duet, A Blade So Black, Shadow of the Fox, The Crown's Game and The Crown's Fate, both by Evelyn Skye, On Shantae by Gita Trelease, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, and uh, Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. And then moving on to this cube, we have The Night Circus, The Bone Season, Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered, Summer of 69, Sometimes I Lie, The Girl He Used to Know, Tell Me Lies, Again But Better, Daisy Jones and the Six, Faithful, and The Rules of Magic, both by Alex Hoffman. So this is kind of like more of my adult shelf. I mean, Again But Better is technically YA, but um, I like to keep it with my adult books because I think it looks better. So um, yeah. And then the books down here are more of like my overflow books, just books that I don't know where to put and don't really have a place within my other books. There's some nonfiction stuff, there's some autobiographies, there's just some like random books. So I don't really put them with my other ones and they're not super interesting. I do have some Dan and Phil books. I have the book that I'm actually on the cover of. Um, I talk about that a lot. So I mean, I just have like a little picture on it and it's not a big deal. And then we just have some other stuff over here. Moving up to this shelf, we have a bit more of decorations. We have my Moana and Pua Funkos from Moana. And then we also have this little Alice Tsum Tsum and a candle from Walmart. So starting off, we have some Cassandra Clare books. We have a Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess, and Clockwork Angel. Then we have Lady Midnight and Queen of Air and Darkness. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to these two books, mainly because I don't have the middle one, and also because I never finished the original, like, series, the Mortal Instruments series, so I don't know if I should read those or if I should ever even get to them, but I mean, they're up there. And then I have my two hardcovers of uh, Sarah J Mass books. I have Tower of Dawn and Empire of Storms. I still have never finished Empire of Storms. I don't know if I'll ever get to it, but I do kind of want to get to Tower of Dawn at some point. And then I have The Diviners and Layer of Dreams, both by Libra Bray. I have City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. I have Dark Radiance by Alison Eldridge. Onyx and Ivory, Dealing in Dreams, and Dark of the West. And then down here we have some more Funko Pops. I have my Loki Funko Pop. And then I also have this uh, candle I got from a book box recently, and it's a selection candle. That's why it's right by my selection books. And then I have another Funko Pop over here, and she is from Thor Ragnarok. And I actually haven't ever seen that movie, but I did get her at the 99 cent store. So starting off, we have Once in Future, Mask of Shadows, and Not Even Bones. And then we go on to my Kira Cast collection. I have The One, The Air, and The Crown. I really need to get the first two books because I love this series. It's one of my all-time favorites. And then I have Reign of the Fallen, and then Kindness of Magicians winter song um, and then we go on to my book of the month books i have wicked fox frankly in love the ten thousand doors of january the beautiful the secret history and the glittering hour and then i have the lesser bohemians by 
Emir McBride. And then down here we have some frozen stuff. So I kind of call it my frozen shelf because literally so many of the things are frozen. We have the little trio of Funko Pops right here. I got these two as gifts this year, and then I got Kristoff at the 99 cent store, so that was really fun. And I also got my little Olaf at the 99 cent store as well. Usually at the 99 cent store, Funko Pops are about $1.99 or $2.99, so they're still pretty inexpensive and on a very deep discount. And then I have this mug with Anna and Elsa on it. I love their 2D designs so much. I think they're so cute. And then I have these two frozen snow globes. I have Sven, and then I also have that like water horse. So starting off over here, we have the whole Shatter Me uh, series. I have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Restore Me, and Defy Me. And then we go on to A Study in Charlotte, The Last of August, The Case for Jamie, and A Question of Holmes. And then we have Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova, The Wicked Deep, and also Frozen, uh, Frozen 2, Force of Shadows. This is one of the newest books that I've gotten, and look at how beautiful it is. I die for this cover. It is so pretty. Look at it. So I have that up on my shelves now, and I love it. It's so cute. And then we have Mirage, Strange the Dreamer. Uh, the Diabolic, Fury Born, The Storm Crow, and A Curse So Dark and Lonely. And I already showed you this shelf, and so the very last shelf we have has only a couple books on it. I have some more Book of the Month books. So starting off on that side, I have Dominicana, I have Get Alive Chloe Brown, Well Met, The Silver Witch, The Futures, Autumn, and Christmas Shopaholic. Alright, so here is one more overview of my shelves, and that's everything. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that bookshelf tour, and if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!